Hi, I'm Lauren Matthews. Welcome to my fitness channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing two jump sport fitness trampolines for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So today, what I have for you is the 350 Pro model 39 inch frame and the 570 Pro model 44 inch frame. There is just a few differences between these two, so I'm gonna go over them so that you can make an informed decision on what you might want. I know that when you're shopping for a trampoline, you're, you know, if you're a beginner, you're probably like, I have no idea which one I should start with. So hopefully I can answer some of your questions today with this video. So starting out, as you can see, both of these still have the arch legs. There's two reasons for jump sport using these arch legs. Um, it's for safety and for stacking. So when we talk about safety, we mean that it's anti-tip. So you can step towards the edge and you can know that you will not tip over. So there's that safety feature for the arching and then also it's for stacking in a studio setting. Now let's talk about enduro last cords. Jump Sport uses enduro last cords, which stretch up to two times. The standard bungee that a lot of um, standard trampoline companies use only stretches about one and a quarter. So they're very stretchy and that's what gives you that beautiful rebound. It's great. So on each of these, you have 36, no difference in the amount of bungees that you have. The only difference is that on the 570 Pro, you've got what they call extra firm enduro last cords. So you've got a little bit firmer of a bounce between the two, and when I demonstrate in a couple of minutes, you might be able to see that. It's not a huge difference, it just depends on your preference. You still have though, there's seven settings on the Enduro Last Quartz. You still have the freedom to adjust it to whatever's most comfortable for you, which is really great. Now, let's talk about the weight rating. This 350 Pro is 300 pounds max, and the 570 Pro is 325 pounds max. As far as the actual trampoline weight on the 350 Pro, it's 22 pounds, and it's just three pounds more on the 570 Pro. It's 25 pounds if you're picking it up and carrying it somewhere. Let's talk about bounce area. With the 350 Pro 39 inch frame, you get a 510 square inch bounce area. When you add in the skirt, it turns into 915 square inches. It gives you more of a range because when you bounce, you know, sometimes your feet will hit the skirt and that's fine. It's protecting you and it just gives you a larger space. Now with the 570 Pro, you have 729 square inches and then you have these awesome pedals that are kind of padded, which is really nice. So you have 729 square inches and then with the pedals added in, it's 1,334 square inches. So then you have a really large space. So obviously the largest difference between these two is that this one, literally, no pun intended, is larger than the 350 Pro. So on the 350 Pro, it's a nice soft bounce. It's perfect, it's fine just how it is, okay? Now you go to the 570 Pro and you'll be able to tell it's just a little bit more firm, but sometimes people want a firmer bounce. It's all about what feels good to you and what you feel is gonna give you the safest, most effective workout. Let's talk about the stability bar on the 570 Pro. As you can see, the stability bar replaces the two front arch legs to give you more of that weight bearing stability. Now this is great for those of you who are just brand new to rebounding or if you have balance issues or anything like that because you can hold onto the bar and know that you're safe. So you can use this as a beginner or you can use it as advanced. You can do bar workouts on it. You can do strength training on it. You can use it for squatting. You can use it for balance. And you can hold on to it. and you can stay safe the whole time. So having this stability bar is just really nice because it can be used for a lot of different things. So if you're someone that knows that you're gonna be doing your workouts from home, you're enjoying those on-demand classes, and 
you're never gonna take this anywhere out of your house, I would definitely recommend going with the 570 Pro model just because it's large, it's got a great bounce to it, it's easy to do ab exercises, having that large surface area really is a great um, and big difference. If you're someone that's gonna bop around town and you wanna bring your trampoline with you or you're gonna eventually go into a studio setting, the 350 Pro is a great option for you. I hope that this information helped you today to make a decision on what type of jump sport trampoline is right for you. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you next time.